Okay, I'm going to show you how to make one of these pumpkins in amigurumi in um, various sizes. So what you'll need is a two millimeter hook, a pair of scissors, needle, stitch marker. We've got some filler and I use um, just a soft cotton yarn. Okay, we're going to start with a medium sized pumpkin and we need to do a magic circle. And in the magic circle, we need to do six single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and the last one's number six. I'm just going to put my stitch marker in there just so that we know which is the last stitch we're working with. And we just need to give it a little bit of a pull to close up the hole. And this is going to be round number two. We are going to do an increase in every stitch. Oops, so we are a bit fiddly. We'll start off with this first one up here. one and one more in that hole that's two second hole be number three and four move it on to the next one five six next one seven eight and the next one nine and ten and for the last one i need to take the stitch marker out and we're just going to do the last two increase in this last one here eleven and twelve then we put the stitch marker back in so we don't lose our place. And we're just going to give it a bit of a pull at the bottom to close the hole. There we have our first two rounds done. Okay, round three. The first stitch we need to do the back loop only. So you've got these two loops here. So we're going to go in the back one and do a single crochet. And then the next stitch is going to be an increase. And we're going to repeat that all the way around for six times. So we have got back loop on this one here. And then an increase in the next one. And then back loop again. And then on to the increase. Back loop. And the increase. This one's quite tight. back loop again and increase and the last time one more back loop take my stitch marker out for the last increase And pop the stitch marker back in. OK, 
Okay, the next round is round four. So we're gonna do a single crochet in the back loop. And then we're gonna do one single crochet and an increase. So you repeat that six times. So we have got back loop, one single crochet, and an increase. So if you carry on round, I'll meet you back here at the end. Okay, so in round five, so we're going to do single crochet in the back loop as before. And this time we're going to do two, two, two single crochets, one in the first, one in the second, and then we end with our increase. Okay, so we've got back loop. And then two single crochets. And finally the increase. And just carry on until you get to the end again. Round six, we're gonna do back loop to begin with followed by three single crochets. So every round you're increasing by one single crochet. So one, two, three, and then we're gonna do the increase. And then we're going to do back loop only. Three single crochets. And an increase. And then you just follow it all the way around to the end again, till you meet me at the end. Okay, so the next is round seven. We're going to do four single crochets now. So we need a back loop first, followed by four single crochets. Oops. One, two, three, and the next one is going to be an increase. I'll just do that once again. We've got back loop only, followed by four single crochets. And then an increase. And then you're going to follow that sequence all the way around and I'll meet you back at the end of the row again. Okay, we're going into round eight now. So this one's going to be five single crochets. So we start off with our back loop only. And then we go with our five single crochets. And after the fifth one, we need to do an increase. And then we go back to start again. So we've got a back loop only, followed by the five single crochets.
and then the increase. So if you carry on, I'll meet you back round at the marker. Okay, this is round nine. It's the last increase round. So we're going to do back loop only for the first stitch. And then we're doing six single crochets this time. So one, two, And then the last stitch is going to be our increase. And the next round will be back loop only. Six single crochets. and then an increase. And then I will meet you at the end of this row. So we've finished all our increasing rounds, so now we need to do some straight rounds. So from the next round, which is round 10, straight way through to round 19, we are going to single crochet in the back loop. And then we are just going to do eight single crochets one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. and then it's back to the back loop and another eight And then you're going to continue the same pattern all the way around until you get to row 19. So you need to finish row 19 and I'll meet you there. Okay, so you should have reached row 20 now. We are going to do everything in reverse. So we're going to do a single crochet in the back loop and we're going to do six single crochets and then a decrease. So we've got single crochet in the back loop. And then we're back to six single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, and the next one's going to be a decrease. And we follow it around again. So we have the back loop only. Six single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and six, and the decrease. In the next two. So you carry on to the end and I'll meet you when we get back round here. Okay, and the next row that we're going to be on now is row 21. So we're going to do the same, but we're going to do five single crochets in between. So we've got the back loop. 
There's your first stitch and then five single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and then another decrease. Take the first loop from each one. And then we're in the back loop only. And then five single crochets. One, two, three, four, and five, and another decrease. Okay, and then I will meet you back round when we get to the end again. Row 22, we'll do the same again, but this time we're gonna have four single crochets. So back loop only. One, two, three, four, and a decrease. And the same again, back loop only. One, two, whoops, the needle, two, three, four, and again we're going to do a decrease. And then I'll catch up with you at the end of this round. Row 23, we're going to do three single crochets. So we do the back loop only first. And then one, two, three, followed by the decrease. again so back loop only three single crochets and a decrease If you carry on, I'll meet you at the end of this row. Row 24, we're down to two single crochets, so we start off with the back loop. And then one single crochet, two single crochet, and a decrease. Loop only two single crochets and a decrease. And I'll meet you at the end of this row. Row twenty five, we're down to one. So back loop only one single crochet. And one decrease. Back loop only. Come out. One single crochet. 
and one decrease. And I'll meet you at the end of this row. Okay, now we've got to this far, we need to put the stuffing in before the hole gets too small. should be enough we don't want to overstuff it because we've got to squash it down so now we are left with row 26 we've got a single crochet in the back loop followed by a decrease single crochet in the back loop and a decrease just keep working your way around and I'll meet you at the end this next row is your last row and it's just going to be six decreases just work your way around. One, two, oops, come out, three. Five. I'm going to take the stitch marker out to do the last one. And that's six. Now we need to pull the thread through, but we need a long piece of thread because we've got to sew down each of these sections that we've created. So I think I'm going to cut it about here. And then we need to thread the needle. And to begin with, we need to close the end. So we need to catch the front loop of each of the last stitches. Just one, two, three, four, five, and six. And we give it a little tug. Close the ends in. Now what we need to do is we need to trace back all these front loops that we've left open. So I'm going to bring this one up about here. And we're going to pick up each loop.
tuck. And then push it back down and bring it up to the next one. Give that one a tug and work your way around to all of them. Okay, now that we've done all of the edges, we're going to push the needle straight the way through and out the other end. We'll give it a bit of a tug because we're trying to make it into the pumpkin shape now. Straight way back where we came from. And just put a bit of pressure on it. And then we're just going to tuck it and fasten it off. Stop it coming out. Should be enough. We'll just push the needle through and snip off. Okay, the next thing to do is to change the colour to the brown and we're going to make the shoot from the top. So, with this, we need to do a chain of six. One, this one's quite tight. Two, three, four, five, and six. And then we're going to go to the second loop, miss the first chain, and we're going to do single crochet. And then you need to work your way along for single crochet all the way along. So that was one. chain one and turn the work around. We're going to go back down the other way for another five. So we have one, two, three, four, and five on the end. Keep doing that again. There we are, five. So again, chain one to turn the work around. And we'll do one more turn. One, two, three. And the last one on the end will be five. Okay, and we'll just pull it through, snip some off because we need to sew it onto the end. So let's take this needle away. So we're going to 
leave this end inside we just roll it up and we're going to take each stitch from each side to sew it in on itself Just one in the end there. Just snip that excess bit off of that one, we don't need that. And now we need to attach this to the end. So we just sew it all the way around, catching part of the bottom pumpkin and part of the root. Okay, if you're happy with that secure, just tuck the ends straight the way through. This is where I need my pliers to pull it out. And snip the end. And there we have a little pumpkin. Now you can vary the sizes with these by increasing where you went up to six single crochets. You can go up to as many as you like, but for however many rows you increase, you have to increase around the center as well. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video.